Right, so what is up guys, STPZ here, and today we're going to be making a video um, talking about how to get your first thousand subscribers on YouTube, and as you may know, I have recently achieved this, and thank you very much if you are one of the amazing people that is subscribed to this channel, it's very appreciated. I have recently achieved this, we are currently at like 1,119, I think, right now, I do try and keep a check, um, so I know what I'm talking about, uh, but yeah, it's been a few, a mental few months, I'll be honest, um, obviously I've had a few videos that have blown up, the TGF video blew up massively, I think it's got currently got 29,000 views. Uh, and the phase rain video is currently nearing on about 40,000 um, So it's been kind of mad um, and if you did come from either of those videos, it's, it's much appreciated But I'm going to talk, talk to you guys my ways that I would say are the best ways to get your first thousand subscribers If there is something you're still tr struggling or looking to do so there's a few top tips You definitely need to be doing there's a few things that you have to be doing and the rest of it is obviously personal choice The few things you need one of the things you have to be doing is you've got to be consistent you must set a Within the parameters of your channel, whether you whether that means you upload daily or you upload twice a week, you need to set a consistent time schedule for when you can upload. So people on your channel, recurring people, know when to turn up to your channel. Like if you're going to say, you're, if you tell people you're going to upload Monday, Tuesday, Friday, then they're not going to come to your channel on the Tuesday and expect a video because they know that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they're getting a new video. If you're going to upload every day, then obviously they come back every day at the same time. And and like I said, time is key as well. Try and upload at the same time every day. Don't sort of a Monday upload at like 1 in the afternoon, Wednesday 9 at night and then 10 in the morning on the Friday. Nobody's going to know when you're uploading, that's too sporadic. You need to have consistent key time scale of when you're uploading, what days you're uploading, so you keep it all, so people know when to come to your channel to watch a video. Even if they haven't got like a notification bell turned on, people know that at, for me, 6pm every day there's going to be a new video on the channel with the, with the odd exception of uh, sometimes they're a bit later just because of technical issues but most days of the year there's going to be a new video at 6pm and everyone knows that so they come to the channel at 6pm without even me needing to post out the stories obviously I do that to try and get a bit more publication but I don't need to post those to, for certain people people know that obviously 6pm every day that's when I'm going to upload and that is very key so you get a subscriber base that know your schedule right so also you need to be hitting videos that are in trending topics but also make th videos about things that you do enjoy if you're making videos about something that you're not very interested in, you've not done your research, you're not very focused about, you've not got really any enthusiasm for it, it's going to come across very clearly in your videos. It's a very fake sort of video, you're literally just doing it for views, and that's not the way to go. Although it may seem that that's the way to go, because obviously the best thing you want is views. You want people to come and watch your channel. That's not the best way to do things, because you will never get a strong like consistent subscriber base you'll just get the odd person who watches one video clicks away never subscribes and probably never watches one of your videos again because they were just looking for that topic at the time and you weren't interested so they clicked off your video and watched another one that's not what you want you want to be making videos that you enjoy for instance the chelsea series that i make that doesn't always do too well sometimes it does but i really enjoy making those videos i'm very passionate about it because obviously i'm a big chelsea fan now there is plenty of people on the channel that watch um literally love those videos and there's people that don't obviously that depends on who you support and what you're interested in so i, I try to make videos that come across to all categories and that is also a good thing to do obviously pick a category that is your main focus now for me i've more moved into the idea of commentary videos recently um because they seem to be doing a lot better on the channel than other types of content but as long as you're making content that is something you're interested in, it's going to come across in your videos and people are going to enjoy watching you because they know that you're you're enjoying making the video that you're making. And obviously, like I say, trending topics are very key. For instance, my Phase Rain video, TGF, um, Dr. Disrespect, Ninjas Mix, I think, they, they all do well on the channel. When something's really popular um, about YouTube, about Twitter, on to, when something's really popular, it's always going to do well, as long as you do the correct things that I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. Very key, that leads on from the end of the next point, is tags on your videos now tags on your videos are very very important um and your title and your thumbnail the whole way you do the whole way you descript you upload a video your title it's got to be a key thing that's being searched um, I, I recommend programs um, to add to your browser, so like uh, browser extensions to add of either TubeBuddy or VidIQ. Now these are both free browser extensions that basically help you title and give your video tags to be put yourself in the best possible chance of your video getting views. They're massively helpful so I would recommend e using either of those. Um, I personally use VidIQ so I think it has more features than TubeBuddy but I know a lot of people that I uh, speak to on a daily basis from like the X, X Academy scheme that use uh, TubeBuddy and say they have absolutely 
absolutely no problem. So either of those are going to be key. But your title, your thumbnail, and your tags, your description even, are very, very key. For instance, if you've noticed, I don't know whether you guys have read any of my descriptions recently, they're the same every week, um, apart from obviously what the video is about. Everything else has got emojis in it. It's tried to be bright, clever, funny, so you want to click on it, you want to read it. The title has got to be interesting, engaging, it's got to really come across with keywords, so that if somebody, so if, if you're making a video about, for instance, the Dr. Disrespect subject, you need to have Dr. Disrespect, Twitch and Ban all need to be in the title, because they will be key things that people are going to be searching. Then the tags of your video are all so essential, and this is where the idea of TubeBuddy and VidIQ come in. So if you happen to make a video about, like they say, the Dr. Disrespect situation, and you just go onto another YouTube tab and you type in Dr. Disrespect Band on Twitch, you will find plenty of other videos that people have made, you're not going to struggle. Now if you click on one of those videos, you can actually go down on the right hand side and it will show you what tags they have used to get their views. Now it's best obviously not to just copy and paste these straight to your video, but maybe use some from that video, some from another video, some of the best trending ones, and then also do some of your own, some of the recommended, and you will get the right blend. And tags are very key, so go with short tags, medium tags, really long sentences, you don't want to have just one, because nobody's going to, some type in full sentences, you want to have quick keywords, so Dr. Disrespect, Twitch, Ban, and then Dr. Disrespect banned on Twitch. All those different tags, so you've got different variations. People are interested by that, and it's what people are going to be searching. And lastly, just enjoy the content you make. Enjoy it, promote it everywhere on your social medias. Don't be afraid to put it on your Snapchat story, your Instagram story, put it on Twitter, Facebook, anything you can think of. Don't be afraid to show it to your mates just because someone said it was shit or they didn't like it. Post it everywhere you can that you think will help you benefit you. Join Discord servers. Um, do anything you can. Reddit is a good place as well. There's so many good places you can post about your videos that will guarantee you more views because you're reaching a bigger target market. It's so key, but as long as you're enjoying your content and you're showing that in the video, that is the best thing you can do. Don't make content you don't enjoy. So uh, like I say, the key things, I've gone over them all for you here. So hopefully they have helped you out. And if they have, obviously drop a like on the video. Hopefully you guys can get to your 1,000 subscribers as soon as and amazingly as I did uh, with the recent growth I've had. Hopefully we can keep growing on this channel and you guys are going to keep enjoying the content and if you have please drop a subscribe on the channel and click the notification bell join the notification squad every single day at 6 p.m hopefully like i say in the last few videos you've been liking the new uh, third uh, lower third anime animations the youtube twitter and instagram one been trying really hard to update the channel and make it a lot nicer to watch and i know you guys enjoyed the vlog yesterday with the new transitions so hopefully we're gonna be making plenty more content with this soon um so that is obviously the plan thank you very much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed I wanna peace. take it on it, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold